Stacy McGee, um, play defensive tackle for the Oakland Raiders. Football teaches a lot, you know, it teaches a lot about life lessons as far as being responsible and uh, being accountable and just teaches a lot of discipline. I mean, I've carried that with me the most of my life. I mean, I'm not perfect, I've made my mistakes, but I mean, all in all, you know, it's helped me get up through the humps I have had in, in the road. It was hard to balance everything out from the beginning, you know, just coming in as a freshman at a high school, at a high school, you know, it's kind of a cultural shock because you've never been in any situation like that. So you gotta learn to uh, adapt to the new the new uh, schedule and surroundings and lifestyle that you're being hit with as far as working out, going to class, being in meetings. I mean, it's real demanding on time and there are points where you feel like, you know, it, you question if this is what you really wanna do, but you gotta think about yeah, this is this. I mean, you gotta look at look at it. What's gonna what's gonna come in the long run? You get a degree, you have a, a chance to go play in the NFL, and just I mean, college football opened so many doors for me and for a lot of other players. And just feel blessed I had the opportunity to do it. I mean, being young, you know, I hear people talk about the NFL, going to the NFL. And I always wanted to be in the NFL, but it didn't really become a reality to me to like my third or fourth year when I started seeing my competition and I was playing and I was starting and I was just noticing things. I was hearing things people telling me I was doing more more and more research about the type of people that make it to the NFL and I was one of the NFL prototypes. So I was like, okay, there's a better chance now, you know, I know the real like the a goal for me now to make it to the NFL. So that just made me step up playing, stepped up everything I was doing. But along the way I did lose sight of uh, my goals but I got back on track, you know, after I bumped my head a few times in college, and uh, I never looked back since. Oh yeah, you gotta sacrifice time, you gotta sacrifice family, you gotta sacrifice your friends. I mean, if you wanna be successful in college or in anything you do, you're gonna have to learn how to sacrifice regardless. I mean, like I said, whether it's your friends, family, money, fun, going out, just anything in life. I mean, you just gotta learn how to sacrifice and learn the balance. I mean, cause you have to sacrifice something eventually to get where you wanna be. You can't be able to do it all, it's not enough time in the day. I grew up real family oriented. I got uh, two brothers and a sister, and I grew up with both of my parents, and uh, we grew up around my grandma, and my uncles, and my cousins. You know, we all were pretty close knit. Stayed around, we hung around each other most of our life, you know. Still talk to them to this day, you know. We still hang out, go see them every time I go back home, family reunions and whatnot. But yeah, we grew up pretty close, the whole family did. Uh, yeah, at first I was lonely, and then I uh, invited my little sister to come stay with me. She came and stayed for almost a year, but you know, I just realized that, I mean, growing up, and this is a part of the process, if I want to be successful, I got to learn, like I said, the balance of sacrifice, sacrifice the time with my family. I mean, learning how to focus on what I need to take care of for me to be successful in my career, and just say, just grinding and keeping my head down and going forward. You can always call home, and not <laughs> FaceTime. You can FaceTime your family. I mean, if you got internet, they got internet. But if not, you got to find people close to you and people you can trust, people who want the best for you in the area you're in and try to make them as close to family as you can because eventually you're going to need somebody to talk to and hang with, I mean, but if that's not the case, you know, you can always call home I'm pretty sure your family will be willing to hear from you. Confidence, you know, you got to have confidence to do anything because if you don't believe in yourself, who else will, you know? Everything you do in life, you got to believe because if you not don't believe in it or you're not passionate about it, you're not going to give it 100%. You're not going to give it everything you got. So if I say if you're doing what you truly love, you got to be confident and be passionate about it. But if you're not, then you probably don't. If you're not confident, you're not passionate about what you're doing, you're probably doing the wrong things and you need to find what you truly love so you can be confident and passionate about what you're doing because you can only have success if you're that way about whatever it is. The communication, communicate with anything. That's all you really can do is communicate with your spouse or whoever you with, like whoever you with. Just talk to them, I mean, every day, whenever you can. I mean, build the trust and 
hopefully everything works out in y'all's favor. I mean, just just believe in each other, even when you even know sometimes. I mean, just just trust each other and just communicate. That's that's what's got me to the point I am. I'm, I'm with my, my uh, wife now. We communicate well and we trust each other. So it's like we don't argue or have any problems about anything else or worry about any outside parties or anything like that. Like, it's just us. We're just working together, trying to... You know, build our empire together and take care of our child, so, you know. Stay hungry and be humble and uh, treat everyone with respect because you never know who you're going to need in the end.